Okay, so we are going to now fold a note that is made from an eight and a half eleven square or rectangular piece of paper. For these ones, I used paper that was red on both sides or white on both sides, and that makes it look nicest. Um, but for folding purposes for our video, I'm going to use a paper that has polka dots on one side and is solid white on the other. Just makes it easier for you to see what I'm doing. Um, okay, so we start with our piece of paper. And the first thing we're gonna do is I flip it over because I'm gonna want the polka dots on the outside. You, if you're using double-sided paper, it won't matter. But we're gonna fold like we're trying to make a square out of this rectangular piece of paper. And then we unfold it. And then you're gonna take and do the opposite side. Okay. And then I flip it over, um, and you'll want to flip it over too. And I'm going to want to make a crease going right through this center X in my paper. Okay, now when I flip it over, we're going to make a squashing fold. See how it all folds nicely together like that to make it kind of look like a little house? Again, you really, because you folded, if you made sure to flip it over when you did that crease through the center, it'll fold itself over quite nicely. So now we're gonna work with it in this direction, so make sure to turn your paper. And we wanna make a fold down the middle just to be a guideline. And then we're gonna take this corner flap and fold it up to the center. This corner flap and fold it up to the center. Okay, so once you have that, now you're going to take and you're going to fold this side towards this center line so that it lines up right there. And you'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now flip the whole thing over. And again, we have that house shape. And you want them to fold in half right along there. And then you're going to unfold. So it doesn't matter that this is sticking out because you're just making a crease for marking. Okay. You are going to now fold it back over. You're going to take this bottom part and fold it up till it touches this point down here. Okay. Now turn it over. And using that half mark that we created, you're going to take your corner and fold it up, lining up with that center. And you'll do the same thing on this side. Now, from here, you've got two layers of paper at the top. You're going to just take the top layer and you're going to fold it down until it reaches its edges over here. So without bending more, you're going down to the edge. And it's okay, it's supposed to overlap down here like this, because you're gonna put that into there, and that into there to hold the flap down. Now, with your two points up here, you're gonna take this point, and you're gonna wanna fold so that this point goes past this line. So it's not a direct, like your fold is kind of going to go not directly through the center, but a little bit lower. So it looks like that. Okay. And then you're going to tuck whatever goes over into this space here. So like so. And then you'll do the same thing on the other side. Fold so the flap is over and then tuck it into the inside. And voila, you have your heart. And remember, it, it turns out okay with the paper having a design on one side and on the other. Um, I just really prefer this way so you don't have any spots where you might have little gaps of appearance. Um, but there you go. That's how you make a heart folded note.